Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with a uh, oh, a new series of Ark. And we're playing on Crystal Isles this time. And I do like the Crystal Isles map. The problem is it's been kind of laggy in the past for me, so hoping to avoid that this time. Cool, leveled up. Well, that's... Not a good sign. I'm getting audio issues already. Alright, uh, let's see. Crafting. I need stones. Okay. Hey, cool stone. Nice. And let's go ahead and level up, actually. And I think the first thing we're going to go for is actually going to be wheat. Uh, let's see. Notes, don't pick. Torch. Whole bunch of stuff from different mods have added in. Hatchet and spear for now. Alright, survivability is key. And what did I get here? Fern plants. Okay, cool. I believe that's from the steampunk mod, actually. Hello, Dodo. I hear you. You're safe for now. And, well, metal's not bad, but flint is what I need. So I'd like to make an axe if I could. And a spear. I can make two of them. Sweet. Because spears break stupidly fast. Okay, more weight. And I'm going to go make a campfire, and then as much armor as I can, which is just that much. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two, and then three for the spear. Yeah. And I level up again. Yeah, first few levels always just come in so fast. Well, hello, Shonosaurus. <laughs> amount of wood. Grab some fiber here. Tough dodo. Level 88, huh? Go. Get some hide and some raw meat. Level up again. Keep boosting weight until we get to 200, I think. There we go. And yeah, level 5 now. Nice. There we go. Now at least I have. Theoretically, some food. I have a way to cook it, or I've learned how to cook it anyway. I can make a full suit of cloth armor anyway. Level 144, wow. There we go. Get more hide by using axe, get more meat by using a, a pick. So how am I doing on this stuff? A little bit short of being able to make a shirt. Okay. Looks like I need to turn my mouse sensitivity down a bit too. That's a bit on the high side. Um, camera shake, look up, really? I have two different sensitivities for up and down, left and right. Better. And then I still needed a shirt, was it? Hello, I am no longer naked. I did level up though. Uh, let's see, let's get our weight to 200. That's the one uh, stat change that I made. Was to, uh, oh, level 7 now. 
I get 20 points per weight point instead of just 10 as well. I definitely want that Kami implant. Uh, I'm gonna hold off for now, actually. Let's bring up our map, and yeah, I spawned in the west. Redwoods to the north. Uh, there's islands to the south. We're kinda, sorta, at a swampland-ish area. We're kind of so okay. Hello, Christmas thing. What are you? Christmas gotcha? Really? Gotcha claws? Gotcha claws. Look at you. Yeah, no, I should probably not harvest a tree next to him. And that is a very Christmassy dodo. Broke. Spears just have like a random chance of breaking is the problem. But hey, cool, I leveled up again. Grab some more meat because, well, meat is great. Get some spears crafted up if I can. I only had enough for one. What am I missing on spears? Uh, I am missing... Actually, I'm missing fiber. Okay. Uh, that makes sense, I guess. I did just make cloth armor out of the fiber, so... I'm not sure how I feel about sharing an island with Gacha Claws, because I'm not sure, like, what his deal is. Like, at night time, does he turn into, like, Gacha Krampus? I don't know. I am, like, on the smallest island, though. How nasty is it in the water? Shonosaurus. Because I kind of want to check out over there. But if I'm going to get piranhaed, like, stupidly quick, I don't want to go right away. Um... Let's get some movement speed so I can run thing, outrun things. Uh, it seems like a good idea. Uh, let's see, level seven stuff. Oh, light construction table. That'll be nice and handy to have. The lights are relatively expensive though. So, ah, uh, the bed. Yes. Learn how to make sleeping bag first. But is there an N plus? No. Okay. Do love the water though. Uh, let's see, spears, please. Make like three more of those because, like I said, they break. So, now the Shonosaurus is pretty passive. So as long as I don't hit it, it's not going to one-shot us. Make the sword. Another Ichthy, it looks like, over there. Yeah, look at the size of this thing. Actually, that's not a... That's not a Shonosaurus, is it? That's a Mosasaur. And due to the fact that it hasn't, like, come over to say hello to me yet, I'm pretty sure that it's relatively passive. At least towards me. If those ichthyosaurs get too close, it may decide that they look like a tasty snack, but I seem to be fine for now. I love how the spear looks like it's got like a chunk of like a femur or a rib bone or something at the end of it, but it's made with flint. There's a red, or that's a green obelisk there. Yeah, the redwoods, I probably want to stay away from for right now. They're uh, just a wee bit on the hazardous side. And this is swamp. But hey, we got a dodo. If dodos are around, it's a good sign there's nothing hostile around here because they tend to go after dodos. What is this guy? You are... Now you're cranky. 
Tylosaurus, okay, nice. It just has a very short aggro range. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Uh, respawn. Can I go get my stuff back? Alright, so there's one thing I do want to learn how to make. And that is the Corpse Finder. I just learned how to suicide pill too. That's in case you get stuck and can't get out. And... There we go. My mouse disappeared when I did that for some reason. Hello, Bronto. So where am I? Honestly, not that far away. Well, according to the map, anyway, this, this world, by the way, is huge. Yeah, there's the redwoods there. This is actually not a bad place to be, except for the fact that I know... There's my island right there. Uh, I know there's some pretty good-sized carnivores that spawn in this area. Uh, like that thing over there. Oh, great. Concavenator. Hyper-aggressive, extremely fast. Well, hello, giant sea turtle. Look at you. Hello, compies. Yeah, I gotta go over there to get my stuff back. I don't want to deal with compies right now. Faimia, that's another good sign. Over Raptor. Pear is another good sign. Moss Chops. Actually, hey, Moss Chops. What is your food? Right. You want Tentos, huh? Okay. I think I have some Tento Berries. Hey, come here. Okay. Uh, must be enhanced teaming because of a the event or whatever. Moss chops are great. You don't need a saddle. And they harvest fiber like a champ. Fiber and berries. So I don't ever have to worry about feeding Aussie now. She can feed herself. And they're actually pretty good attackers. They just are naturally cowards. So they, they're only really good attackers whenever you're on them. That is an alpha. Alright, well, I leveled up seven points. Look at that. Um, yeah. And Mossy leveled up. That's what... No, e is hop off. It's like F, isn't it? F, there we go. 15 levels off of that. Mossy, you rock. Also, I don't want you going anywhere, so... Now, you are an herbivore, so I can't force heal you. Also, Moss Chops can't jump. They are relatively decent swimmers, though. Like, if that alpha comes after me, I might be able to get away in the water. Uh, I think it's focused on something else right now, though, so... Should be okay. Yeah, problem with Moss Chops, they're very slow unless they're sprinting. If I go in the water, do I replenish my thirst automatically? Yep. Cool. But apparently I'm hot even in the water. Okay, that's a red and green something that I don't want to mess with over there. That's clearly a carnivore. Just by looking at it, you can tell. And Mossy just pooped. Ah, it's a tech para. Right? Yeah, it looks like it. And a regular para. Okay. And the carnivore is going after him. Okay. We're good. Oh, Mossy, your stamina. Stamina is like one of the worst stats to boost as well, because you get such 
a minor improvement per level spent. That it's like really not worth it, and it takes forever for stamina to uh, recover. There we go. Slowly recovering. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I think a good portion of it's also because, well, Mossy's technically hurt because I leveled up uh, health so much. Force feed you a barrier too. 97 meat though so far. That's uh, not terrible. Just keeping an eye on my surroundings. Ah, it's a Therizinosaur. Herbivore, but uh... Cranky by temperament. Alright, so I made this wonderful... Or no, I didn't make it. I learned how to make it. The death counter. Can't use it while riding a dinosaur, so I have to hop off. But... It shows you where your corpse is. We're just going to skirt the, uh, the fairy. They're an awesome dino to have on your side, but they, uh, well, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Rex and kill it, so not so great when they decide to come after you, because, yeah, they're, they're a nightmare on legs is what they are. But it's nice to know where one is, because it's not like they die. <laughs> Most carnivores completely ignore them, actually. That's another flippin' alpha. That's another alpha raptor. And I am out of stamina now. Oh, lovely. So you stand there now. We're just going to back up a bit. Gonna put some more distance between us and the Alpha. They randomly move until something either enters their aggro range or they overlap it. And then, uh, then total destruction tends to happen. And I just got Mossy. I'm not in a hurry to, move, to lose Mossy. See, so yeah, you can see that green kind of beaconish thing there. That's my body. Swimming is a bad idea without full stamina, though. It looks like I'm going to have to swim. Can we... That is a dead shark. There's the Tylosaur that killed me. Okay, the only fish around here is Coelacanth. Okay, not bad. And that's a Manta. Okay. They are, yeah. Relatively aggressive as well. I love how I'm in the water. I'm still hot as soon as like my head pokes the surface. But yeah, Mazi here will be good for clearing an area to uh, set up like an early base at. Problem is, moss chops are cowards, so you have to be pinned up. Because if something attacks it, it even if you have it set to aggressive, it'll just run away. Hey, look. There's the corpse. Tasted good, too. And we're just going to take everything. Okay, it's just a, a trend on. We're good. Yes, yeah, so and moss chops can even gather wood. So. And, yeah, I got a little bit of metal. Not bad. I got some narcos. A lot of meat, though. There's a trike. Now, few harvesting levels. Oh, come on. Uh, sap, raw prime meat, prime fish, rare flower, mushroom, leech blood, organic polymer. 
So you can choose what you want to get more of with Moss Chops as well. Not seeing like any ability to get any of that stuff around here though. But for now, Level 240 Dodo. Yeah, max levels for this get through R240 for now. I might raise it higher later. I don't know. Dragonflies this time? Okay. Right. Oh, we leveled up again. Just one level this time. So what have we unlocked since like level seven? Uh, wooden club, multi-panel flag, cooking pot, paintbrush, boomerang, bola. Bola's good, actually. Sword bows. Yeah, I have to learn how to make slingshots where I can make bow. And then... Wooden stuff. Okay, cementing paste is also nice. Later on, though. Not right now. Ostra Raptor Saddle is awesome. And then we could learn Hide Armor, too, actually. A little better protection, a little worse against the heat. And then we can also learn how to make bridges, which is going to be awesome. And that is a aggroed trike. Which means there's a predator with a higher level somewhere around here. I'm hoping it's just Mossy. Uh, here, let's... Three points in the melee damage, too. Alright, I'll bite. What's over here? Uh, just a dodo. Okay. Oh! Uh, yeah, that's a pliosaur. Of the kind that likes to crawl up on the land and eat things. It's not terribly fast, however. But that's, to me, a sign I shouldn't hang out right here. Jeez, Mossy, you're pooping a lot. Seal the Pisces. Seal the Pisces. Run away. Wow, I killed it? Okay. Uh, it was pretty low level though too. They're they're glass cannons too. They hit like a frickin' tank. But they they have no health to speak of really. Yeah, they're fast and hard hitting. So they usually travel in packs though, which is one of the reasons I was like run away. Uh yeah, let's um uh, got my health to one fifty. Let's go with some fortitude. No idea what that was. Something swimming through the the mud at me. Yeah, that's getting into more swampy area. There, there's a frog up ahead. This is like the very border of the swamp, so we're gonna run into all sorts of little fun things around here. Ah, oh, there was like two alphas there, though. That's the problem. There's a drop over that way. 
I mean, maybe if I set up at the edge of the grassland, I'll be fine. Because there are some pretty decent dinos that way. Oh, are you getting overburdened? Yeah, that's Mozzie's full out sprint right now. Uh, yeah, your your weight. That doesn't go up a whole lot, does it? Uh, we are going to get rid of like that though. Uh, okay, stem berries can probably go away. Hey, I got some more mushrooms. Cool. Get rid of some of these seeds. I'm gonna feed you amber berries, so we don't need to have those. And anything, my weight is like cut in half for a mossy's encumbrance, so. I even got some prime meat off that silo. That's kind of cool. And I've got 51. Uh, can I, like. Okay, fern plants, I don't need. Can I, like, split you in half or something? Yeah, I can split it in half like that. And then we're just going to drop those, because I don't need that much fiber. There. Now your weight's pretty decent. And I should probably, like, refrain from, like, destroying bushes for now. See if we can buy, avoid the alphas and get back towards that grassland. If nothing else, it's easier to uh, to build on flatter ground anyway. And I don't, really don't need like a Titana boa showing up and just... Oh, that was a manta underneath me. You didn't see me. You saw me. They don't go into too shallow a water though, so we're usually pretty safe, but we can just keep going. But yeah, Mantis hurt. Alright, so... That's an alpha rep. I'm dead. I am like so dead. Sorry, Mossy. Can we kill something before we die? I killed the lower level raptor. Oh, that's a leech on me. That's what it was attacking me. That's what was on Mossy. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's going good so far, isn't it? Why do I still have the leech thing, though? That's a Diplo. Okay. I just leveled up. Yeah, that leech icon means there's a leech on one of my dinos. But seeing as my only dino is Mossy, I just want to escape to exit the map mode. And Mossy's dead. It means that Mossy's corpse hasn't been eaten yet. That's an Argy. Argentavis. Well, rest in peace, Mossy. At least have a tinto berry now, so I have something to eat on my hot bar. And yeah, let's go ahead and craft a death finder. That's an Arizona Saurus. We need to go this way anyway, so. That's a, a compy. That's another Diplo. No, that's a Bronto. Carbonemus. Another Moss Chops. Higher level, what do I need? 
Ah, giant bee, honey. You're picky. Moss chops have uh, random taming foods. And it's like different for each one, really, so. Uh, my stamina's not really going down. Oh, that's a Segnosaur down there. That's a Dilo. Normally not a threat, but I am in honestly no shape to, to take on a Dilo in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, Segno. They're a passive tame, but you gotta be at least level 45, so. That's not a Segno, that's a Theory. Yeah, Segnos are just smaller Theories, pretty much. Smaller, friendlier. Just as badass, really. That's that concavenator that was attacking the gotcha claws earlier. It saw me. Yep, there we go. <laughs> and they are one of the noisiest dinosaurs in the game, too. They never, ever stop that roaring, growling noise. Oh, hey, there's my corpse. Let's not go that way, shall we? Can I get a rock, please? Got some nice, wonderful swamp water to quench my thirst with. Uh, stones, please. Ah, oh, that's a scorpion. Hello, Corpse Run. These are always fun when you're first starting out, by the way. Oh, a Dodecarus, cool. Okay, I'm getting fiber and berries and stuff, which is okay. I want a rock. There we go. Yeah, okay, good. I was heading the right direction, roughly. The thing is, right now, is where, like, Mossy died and whatnot, where I died, it's unloaded. So that elf has not been eating the corpse and whatnot, so it's going to be... It's going to eat the corpse, and then it's going to wander off. So it's going to be still right next to my body by the time I get there, probably. Besides that crystal, though. Probably should turn my gammas down, too. Ah, uh, don't rub it on. Okay, you're relatively friendly. Just uh, don't touch them. You're fine. If you touch one, then the entire, you know, pack of them comes after you. I want to say flock, but I think a better term would probably be a murder. Just like crows. Because that's exactly what they do to you. That's a raptor behind me. I hear you. Those are piranhas. Okay, yeah, no, there's like no safe place here. Running and jumping, you can kind of keep pace with the raptor if it's right behind you. Nope, not quite. I didn't put quite enough into movement speed. Oh, look, Alpha. Yay. Heading right for an Alpha. Yep, there we go. Oh, 152. Yeah, no, I wasn't getting away from that. This blasted leech will not 
This icon just does not want to go away. Right. Cool. Stone right off the bat this time. Where am I? Uh, that's probably this corpse is the one I want to... I can't go through the water. It's full of piranhas. That's a compy. Great. Uh, compies, one by one, are very curious animals. If you get a pack of them together, they turn aggressive. Their curiosity turns to... They become very curious as to what you taste like. And that is not necessarily a good thing. All right, so. Channel o. That one. The one closer to the, the shore. Oh, that one right there. This is the concavenator death, isn't it? No, that's the alpha raptor. See, it's still there. I think we got a little bit of a waiting game going on here, don't you? It's glitched. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, for some reason, sometimes that happens, where, like, a raptor specifically can't target something. Well, it's targeting it, but it can't hit it ever. So it just gets locked in. And the only way to change it is to out him to move, unfortunately. Well, that was a nice spawn. Like, right next to my corpse, pretty much, but, uh, unfortunately, the thing that killed me was still there. Oh, there's, like, two gotcha clauses here. Okay. I think that's a regular raptor. So, uh, should we not hang around, maybe? Oh, hey, gotchas help each other, too. Cool. There we go. That's where I died before. Actually, that might be that raptor that killed me. The non-alpha raptor that killed me. What the? Trudons? Oh, man. Come on here. Switch targets, come on. Switch targets. And I'm asleep. And now I'm dead. <laughs> uh, they only turn aggressive at night or if you get too close, but true dons are, are quite frankly, they're evil. But I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode because I cannot get rid of this damn leech. It's starting to annoy me. And if it's annoying me, I can imagine it's annoying everybody else as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, but let's go ahead and kind of scroll through and take a look at what we've unlocked so far. Or not quite unlocked, but what we have the ability to unlock. Uh, yeah, wooden stuff, you know, housing and whatnot. We unlocked the ability to get Adobe stuff, but there's no real way, good way to get Adobe right now. A raft might not be a bad idea, though. And you get a stupid amount of experience for doing rafts as well. But that would help me get around. And even gravestones. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're looking forward to the rest of the series. Until next episode. Sign signing out. Have fun.